hey, doing a quick instructional on how to use the bead loom. So the first thing is to unbox it and set it up. So I've got the wire loom laid out and I'm putting the wooden pieces in. And those little washers should go to the outside of the metal frame to keep it in place. So I'm just snapping those into the grooves and then rotating the nail so that it's facing outside of the bead loom because we'll be using that later. And then real quick, here's the second one, exactly like the first putting it in place with the washers on the outside and nail to the outside as well and tightening it down. Then we're gonna grab our little packet of supplies and take out our thread. And I cut two lengths and folded them in half so that I can tie an overhand knot right here and get a nice loop on the end to anchor my bracelet. So just tying that in and then looping the knot over the nail on the outside and using this wire spring type um, frame to spread the threads out so that I'll have space in between the threads for my beads. And here I'm tightening it up by just turning that little wooden dowel to the outside, making sure I've got some nice even spacing gathering up on the other end. And this does take a little fiddling and adjusting, but I'm sure you'll get it. And then I'm looping it around the nail on the other side. And actually, occasionally it still slips when just looped around that nail. So it helps to loop the string um, one extra time kind of around the screw on the side. You may need to do that, you may not. Now I have another length of thread cut and I am tying it to one of the outside strings, just two knots. And this will be the string that I'm actually beading on. So the rest of them are the frame. Now I am threading my needle with my needle threader. So poke that little wire through the eye and put the thread through the wire loop and pull it through nice and easy. And now I'm actually gonna start beading. And if that knot slips down, just put that back up where you want it. And I'm using the large beads here because they're easier to see on the video, but this is exactly the same idea with the small beads, except you might have more threads in your frame and they might be closer together to accommodate the beads. So I'm doing three across because I have these three gaps in the frame here. And you just pass it underneath the string and one bead pops up into each of the gaps between the strings. And then you sew back around on top through the beads again to hold them in place. And you just continue with the next row exactly like that. Pardon my two-year-old who's bringing her dinosaur into the bead weaving activity. But just three more beads on. And then pass the string underneath. Pop them up through the holes Sew back through the tops to anchor them in place. And you've got two rows. And for the younger students, these large beads come together very quickly. For older students who wanna do more detailed work, it's fun to work with the smaller beads and get a really beautiful, authentic looking bracelet. And you can do more complicated patterns as you get comfortable with it as well. And just continue on like this. When you're done with your pattern, you can tie off the end so that your beads stay in place, um, not the thread, and tie the other end that we just wrapped around the string.